Honored to have TV host, columnist Robin Leach with us here at the round table. Now, Robin, we know you're very involved with Keep Memory Alive, and you support the Cleveland uh, Clinic, the Lou Ruvo Center for Brain Health. You know, can you tell us more about this upcoming Power of Love Gala? We are thrilled that on this uh, 20th edition of Keep Memory Alive, uh, June 13, we've managed to uh, wrangle uh, Andre Bocelli. Wow. And uh, he'll be performing there. And we have a few surprises. Celine Dion's agreed to come. Martina no. Bride has uh, agreed to come. Uh, Gloria Estefan has, has offered to come. So all the stars will be turning out for this salute to Andre Bocelli at the MGM Grand Garden Arena, June 13. Um, it all benefits our downtown Cleveland Clinic Lou Ruvo Center for Brain Health, that funny building mm -hmm. uh, near Symphony Park. Um, desperately doing research to find a cure for Alzheimer's. Uh, the doctors down there, led by Jeff Cummings, really believe they will find the cure right here in Las Vegas. Yeah. Wouldn't that be incredible? Amazing. And make headlines around yeah, the world. Yeah. And so uh, these galas that we throw every year are the, are the uh, fundraisers to allow the medical work to continue. Very yeah, excited yeah. this year. I mean, can you get better than Andre Bocelli, right. Celine no. Dion, Martina McBride, That's an Gloria all-star lineup. Right. And so proud that the work is being done here in Las Vegas, which has been criticized for so long for having, in many cases, substandard medical facilities to have a world-class facility here and get all these stars to come here to support it is amazing. It is. It's yeah. incredible. Yeah. yeah. And you're going to be part of this? Uh, I have my hands in it, right. <laughs> like I have my hands in a number of things in this city. But uh, no, that's a, that's a task that I take on with delight every year, and I've been doing it, uh, putting it together for the last uh, seven, eight years now. Thank you for doing that. Yes. yes. Well, you, you do have your hands in a lot. And well, Robin, we all know mm -hmm. you from the life, Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, and right now we want to put your knowledge of celebrity net worth to the test. So. I'm going to say two celebrity names, and you, well, both of you are going to guess which one is worth more. Okay. And I have to mention that the stats for this game were found on CelebrityNetWorth.com. Which doesn't necessarily mean they're accurate. Ooh, well, see, that's true. Well, I hope that you're up on your CelebrityNetWorth.com I was in everybody's bank account this morning. <laughs> so, <laughs> then you'll get these right. Um, all right, are you guys ready? I'm yep. Okay, so the first, the first two celebrities are George Lucas and Steven Spielberg. Who has the highest, the higher net worth of these famous directors? Lucas. I okay. would have said the same thing, because he's the man that started it all before Spielberg. Mm -hmm. um, let's find out. Yeah. Who is it? The correct answer is George Lucas Yay! with five point one billion. Yeah. Steven Spielberg. But I has bet everybody thought it would billion. probably be Spielberg because he's the bigger name. Mm -hmm. I thought. But I absolutely George Lucas, thought. You remember well, what George Lucas uh, created? Movies and sound of right. all of these big budget spectaculars. That was his studio. Well, yeah, his studio, and you always know that the man who owns the studio makes the most money. Exactly. I know that now. Right. Uh, <laughs> okay, next two celebrities: Tom Cruise or Mel Gibson. Who has the higher net worth between these two actors? Mel Gibson. This is an interesting question because uh -huh. one doesn't know uh, how much money Tom Cruise donates to the Church of Scientology. Mm. Mm, that's a good point. Um, on the flip of that, you could also say you don't know how much uh, Mel Gibson donates to the Roman Catholic Church, <laughs> which right. he is always seeming to be feuding with, <laughs> but his father was a priest. Um, I'm going to still say that it's Tom Cruise uh, probably has more left over than Mel Gibson Seth has. Seth was Mel Gibson, but... Tyler the correct wrong. answer is Tom Cruise. Ah, with see, I, I thought it was, it was pretty close, though. What's, what are the numbers? It's close. 450, 450 million for Tom Cruise, 425 million for Mel Gibson. Right. I mean, it's not close, but it's close when you're at those numbers, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I just remember when Mel Gibson's wife walked, she walked with like... Uh, hundred million dollars when they got divorced because she was a day one wife and they didn't have a prenup. That's why he's uh, down at 425. <laughs> All right, let's get another one in. Uh, next is Howard Stern or David Letterman. Which one of these funny Ooh. men have the higher net worth? That one's a tough I one. I go with Howard because uh, he owns... Um, now, don't misunderstand. David Letterman is very wealthy because mm -hmm. of uh, uh, his production company that owns a number of mm -hmm. television shows. But I think Howard, if uh, the figures of his uh, satellite radio show a correct, he would have 
the most I agree money. with you, Howard Stern. Both of you agree. And the correct answer is Howard Stern. <laughs> So, <laughs> so far, we're doing three out of three. 550 million. David Letterman had 400 million. So, mm -hmm. you guys were right. I wanted you to get one wrong, Robin. Why? You got them Why? all right. Because well, you're always right. Business. Don't be disappointed. Right? <laughs> you were all in these people's business. All right, still ahead. Enter the world of big hair and shoulder pads.